Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is a section analysis tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a section analysis in engineering software solution. So, uh, here we will uh, uh, totally focus on the two topics. One is how we can get the uh, moving curvature of uh, any specific section, and the second, uh, there is plenty of software that you can utilize and get even you can manually calculate it. But using software, this will be quite effective and also uh, economical. So we have uh, this example and we have a concrete reinforcement concrete section which has uh, 30 centimeters uh, weight and also has a 50 centimeters height. So we assume that the 3 centimeters uh, clear cover and we want to use 12 number of reinforcement in the uh, two in the these two side and four in the top bottom and a concrete is a bilinear se section we just want to using a linear and bilinear 20 megapascal and uh, still yield strength is 350 megapascal so we jump to the software and the software is uh, here but quite simple when you uh, you can download this software from the uh, engineering uh, software solution so it's there will be a in the from this website and you can give a demo to see how it works now uh, so we start by drawing is drawing bar and we can uh, pick up the, the center of here or we can write here and then we go using the grading so here is uh, 50 and, and that's three so the section is or the concrete part is actually uh, automatically drawn and now we can go to the reboring so reboring is uh, quite uh, a rectangular or uh, square shape and we're gonna add this using this method we also have line and it's a single rebar as well now uh, here is uh, y is 0 0.5 which is 5 centimeters and we make it uh, 7 which is equal to 7 uh, 0 0.5 3 centimeters uh, 0 0.3 centimeters actually uh, clear cover and you also can change it in case if you have different data now uh, we can change the rebar numbers and uh, diameters here so it will be 20 and both rebar is the entire rebar is uh, number 21 diameter and the material we can change it here for the timing for it accept and the later we can change it so now we have defined the rebars and totally 12 rebar now we can come to the material we're going to change the material uh, we have 20 megapascal and we have difference uh, linear and nonlinear materials. Before we define here, we can add uh, we can add different uh, material condensation law. So this is the simplest. Uh, in case if I go to show you that default concrete is this one, default concrete is a, a bilinear concrete. So this is steel this is steel and let me default concrete and uh, here in the material we can go to concrete um, the concrete I think you So the default concrete have don't have any uh, curve just we using the compressive strength enough nothing else but we have another uh, material uh, with different uh, parabolic linear and bilinear in case if i use parabolic and then you can see here and then you can change the sigma and also the epsilon everything 
but uh, for this one just we're using this concrete and also we can uh, bring from the library that concrete 2025 20, so insert directly and it's 25 now automatically that 25 is added uh, next I'm going to change the reinforcement the same things can be come here and here is the giving 350 megapascal now the material is also added so next we go to the analysis part and in the analysis part we can analyze see the the some parameter especially the ultimate limited state analysis and it will be the selected reinforcement code using this one you also can change another using the bilinear parabolic constant anything else so for the sample rectangle code is this one and we're not considering the tension area just we using the concrete compression area and also this is the stress strain curve of this con this steel ribbon enforcement and concrete so uh, you can change in case if you want difference modulus elasticity it can be other parameter is accepted as a default now when we go to the inertia moment in case if you need to see how the properties of uh, inertia moment is just click in the analysis so it's finished and show the result so this is the uh, data and you can see the moment of inertia the area of the uh, area of the section now we go to the next which is important moment curvature in the moment curvature we want to uh, take the moment curvature in the z and the y which one you want you can just add and the moment curvature you change it to actual force about y about z so i can do one about y and one about z and this is a uh, custom angle degree zero and this is uh, serviceability limit state you can change it but for the curvature just it will serviceability limit state will work next and then we're gonna change to z and giving 90 degrees Okay, so we have defined, and now I can uh, I can go back to here and run the analysis. So uh, the program start to analyze the section, and the section is analyzed, and you can see it's analyzed. We go back to here at the moment, and you can see the result. So this is the moment curvature curve based on the loop case one which is the capacity in the y direction so in this direction now in the y should be greater this is the yield and this is the yield moment and this is the yield curvature now we can go to the second and you can see Now we also uh, can see the distribution moment, uh, distribution is stress strain curve of that. So now you can uh, take a copy and you can see the total force in the top of the uh, of the section in the bottom section, and here is this one, and also this is the stress strain stress strain of the concrete and moment. So then you can take some picture and then create a report that you want so like this you will uh, complete after you finish the analysis and you can go back to here and you can call the form configuration you can uh, see the deform configuration but you have to define the moment and shear force of the structure it's suppose that it's a column then you have to give actual force as well and for the beam you can just give in moment and uh, moment and shear so just we came to the analysis part, moment curvature analysis part, and that's all. And we also have another things for like if you suppose it's column, you can draw the 
uh, interaction curve, moving interaction curve as well. So this is the end of the drill. Um, if you have any question, please put it in the comment and I'll find time to answer you. See you next time.